He hasn't given up a hit. Hit hard, wow. fielded cleanly. We're going to get two here. Ah. No, he threw it away. They'll throw it back. Did he make a turn? No, says the first base umpire, Perry Costello. Boy, Jake McKenzie made it. Terrific throw, and then the return throw by Hamilton. It's a perfect throw to Hamilton, and Hamilton just throws a little up and away. Has had some issues throwing to the bases, but right here, that's that's a big time push by Kerstad. In base, just to make sure and get back. Well, no, no, there's no he, grabbing. No, he didn't grab him. him. <laughs> he grabbed him to push him. But yeah. <laughs> that's all right, and that's not a flop. Sits in the bottom of the first. Base hit by Kerstad. Biggers around third. The throw is way off the mark, and the Razorbacks are on the board first. Okay, if we can get a, get a pair, we might be able to hold them. This one into left. Kerstad towards the foul line, coming in. We'll get a chance to see his arm. He makes the catch. Klugerman tagging. Here's the throw. It's a good one. Hook with the tag, and he's out. Here's the double play. Kerstad lifting one to right. Hagen doesn't move. It's going to clear the bullpen, and that one ends up wet. The legend of Heston Kerstad continues. What a first couple of weeks in college baseball for the young Texan. Off the bat, he knew it. He was going <laughs> uh, to watch that one for a ways. Look at the right fielder. He's not even looking. He's looking back into home plate as that ball goes well out. That ball hit deep to right field. It's his sixth home run and the third of this road trip for the Razorbacks for Hested Kerstad. Riding a 13 game hitting streak and that is what he has done on the hitting streak. 23 base hits. So he's 0 for 3. He finishes the game 3 for 6. High drive, deep right field. Woo, pig suey. It's Kerstad again. Another bomb. Where would, did that one land? I think that's over the scoreboard. Literally hit that one out of sight. You talk about just disappearing beyond the scoreboard in right center, and no doubter, what a way to extend a hitting streak. We need to track man on that one. That thing just is launched. Watch De La Cruz give chase. I never saw this ball come down. No, it was definitely over the <laughs> scoreboard. The 2-1. Off the middle, base hit, rounding third, and coming home is Carson Shaddy. And the Hogs walk him off in Fayetteville to sweep over. This became the Heston Kerstad show. Took a run away from Auburn with a deacon left field. It was a two-run homer. for up 4-0. Great piece of hitting by Kerstad. Ball in the outside corner, but he kept his right shoulder in there just long enough to stay on it. He hit the ball up the middle. This guy can really play. True freshman. Outside corner at the knees. That one clubbed into the gap. Kerstad got a good break on that baseball. And he'll reach and make the catch with a sliding effort shy of the track. Kerstad is athletic, but sometimes, Troy, we haven't seen him pounce on baseballs. This was a good break. Yeah, you're right. The first step was key, and he made a great angle. He didn't try to go run towards center field. He went straight back to that 375. Russell walks back into that wind up and then pauses. Kerstad shoots one to left, up into the breeze, back to the fence, there's number nine! It's Heston Kerstad's world and we're just happy to be living in it. Pitch right there, watch this location of this fastball, it's on the outside corner, hit the mid. Kerstad with just an excellent piece of hitting, drove that ball over, Ruff almost made a great play, just a little too deep into the bullpen. Going to put down a bunt, and it's a beauty against the shift, and that's going to go for a base hit. Bulldogs had the shift on with Shepard. Savvy play there by a freshman here. Doesn't even try and make a good bunt, shows it early. This could get Just fun. had to get it by. Crank deep to left center field. This one will be hauled in with a sliding catch by Kerstad. Well done. Well done and a great break. This looks like it's a gap for the entire time, but Heston Kerstad, first step was great. The route was perfect, goes all the way straight back to it, then slides on a wet turf.
quiet his head was, too. Head wasn't hardly moving when he went down. Top pitching in the SEC this year. High fly, deep left field, pace back. He runs out of room, and it is gone. A two-run shot off the bat of Heston Kerstad. High fly lifted deep to left field. That could go and is gone. Opposite field power once again. Heston Kerstad with his 13th of the year. Second of the day. Offense just keeps coming after you and after you. We talked about his pull power. You mentioned the ball he hit over that right center field scoreboard. Well, we said he's got oppo power too. Again, he shows it to you. This one a little bit further than the last one. Over the left field wall, over the bullpen. Again, the 2-2. He sits on the breaking ball and drills it to left field. It is... Well, he misplayed the ball last inning, but couldn't have played that one any better. Taking away a home run. Listen to this crowd as he goes up, extends, and there's hashtag SC top 10 as he goes up and yanks that away. And Granberg looking for another home run, gets one stolen by the freshman. <laughs> Was able to see his brother's debut. And how'd that go? Ripped into the right field corner. And he's not stopping. Running hard to second base. Here's your throw. He's in there with a double. Wow, Heston Kerstad from the get-go said this is a double. And he's now two for two. No, he threw it away. They'll throw it back. Did he make a turn? No, says the first base umpire, Perry Costello. Boy, Jake McKenzie made it. Terrific throw. A little up and away has had some issues throwing to the bases. But right here, that's that's a big time push by Kerstad. A base. Just to make sure and get back. Well, no, no, never mind. No, he, grab no, he didn't grab him. <laughs> he grabbed him to push him. But yeah. <laughs> that's all right. And that's not a flop. Kerstad does it again. His third hit. And two runners are coming home, and they will both score. Heston Kerstad blows it open. Arkansas 8, Texas 2 on his third hit of the day. It's about challenging people is thinking. That ball is hammered to left field off the bat of Farhat. Back at the wall, leaping and making the catch against the wall is Kerstad. They will not double off Warren, but what a play by Heston Kerstad as he slams into the wall. Field, watch him right here, takes a peek to see where the wall is, and braces for impact, but keeps the focus. Mouth open, love that. As an outfielder, you're running, mouth open wide, because it gives you the appearance that that ball is not bouncing up and down in the air. And the guys that follow him. That's a fair ball down the line, bounces off the wall. May have a play here at second base. Here's the throw, and he is out. That ball took a great hop to Kerstad, and you can see it develop on that throw to deny Taylor of a double. Give a lot of credit to Kerstad right here. The ball's hit solidly, but he reads it well, takes a gamble, and right where it ricochets, plays it perfectly. And all the repetition and infield practice. All those, all those drills every day perfectly thrown right there. You have to know the score. You have to be aware of what's going on. And right there. A couple of points off. Kirsten hits one a mile to right. This ball's going to clear the bullpen. What a shot. A no doubt two run homer to right. The first of the season for Heston Kirsten. Kirsten has a chance to win the game. And he will. Base hit to right center. Washington Jr. will turn third and score. And the Hogs have walked it off with a 3-2 win over Eastern Illinois. And let the celebration begin for Kirsten. The water bath will commence. He's down and away. Got something up in the strike zone. He didn't miss it. Man, he knew it when he hit it. That ball is just right into that gap into right center field. 
not really a chance for Stewart, and he didn't come up with the baseball, and Washington Jr. scores easy. Popper off to the right side. That wind pushing it near the foul line. Kerstad makes the grab. Janowski going to try to tag. Here's the throw. It's a good one. The tag in time. It's a double play. Kerstad guns out Janowski at third. Hesson Kirsten, watch him get around this ball, Benjamin, and try to get a little bit of momentum coming toward the third base. But boy, he threw a dart, and that ball was right on the money. Tagged by Washington Jr. and Janowski. First base, might, not, might see another pick to first. Kirsten drops down a bunt. He might just win this race. The throw to first is not in time. Chang has been a little off. He's not really even hitting fly balls. Speaking of launch angle, high and deep to center, back to the fence, and it's off the wall. And Kerstead already sprinting around second, on his way to third, in standing with a triple. Back-to-back -back walks, setting up Christian Franklin, and this is another rip. Kerstead, good bye, a no-doubter from the native Texan. Just kept going. Kerstead more on the line. And it's six nothing. Hawks. They'll throw it back. Did he make a turn? No. Says to all fields. 2-2. Two -two. Deep to right. Arkansas on top again. Yeah, there it is, Andy. One for eight. Race to eight. Give him the one. He's given Arkansas the lead on a hanging curveball. Arkansas back on top on Kerstad's seventh home run of the season and his second in as many games. High in the air to right, back towards the fence, and four will score on a grand slam from Kerstad. One big swing has put the Razorbacks in front. That ball, quite frankly, just got up in the sky and disappeared. That was one high towering home run. I thought it went over the scoreboard, but I think it, I think it hit off the scoreboard. You knew when it left the bat, that it was hit well. You can see that high leg kick and that big whip with that barrel that bad. Heston knew he hit it pretty well. I don't think Swift saw the baseball. No, he just, he just didn't know where it went. I think it hits off. Get the orange wedges after the game. Kerstad makes a bid for a second home run towards the wall and left, and it's going to go. Woo, Pig Suey, the second of the game from Heston Kerstad. A Boy. grand slam in the fourth and a long solo homer here. And that's what it did for McFarland. Kerstad drives one to deep center field. This ball's towards the batter's eye and gone. You talk about crushing a ball to straightaway center. Kerstad clobbers his 10th of the season. And on Saturday, Dave Van Horn said, I hope Heston comes out and just rakes on Tuesday night. Couple of advances, he's done just that. Pumps that off his neck. That ball rocketed towards right center. Kerstad goes over, slides, and holds on and makes the catch to retire Lipsius. Heston Kerstad, a much improved outfielder from a season ago. Dave Dynamite job. Wilson. Heston Kerstad lifting one high and deep and gone. Struck out and had a soft ground at his first two ABs, and Troy since then he has doubled. He has Homer, and he is sent one to the scoreboard. Heston Kerstad back to back at bats. Did that one clear the scoreboard? I think it did. I didn't see it come down. A towering shot to right field. Well, you talked about who was coming up, and Martin and Kerstad, and watch this. Launch angle by Kerstad. He crushed it. He's going to admire that one. That's a Mickey Mantle type jog from Kerstad. Let's see if we can detect if this ball hit and dropped or whether it cleared the fence. I, I don't see it come down. Chuck Connors? Long, long time. Yeah, look at it. You're him. going Chuck. Oh, boy. High, deep, and gone. Tie game. Did well with that velocity. Boy, you see the launch angle, that thing is just flying, and 
Zach Watson, he just ran out of real estate out there. I think it cleared by about 15 feet at least. Premature firework shooting out there. Fireworks. 50. Right. Rather than relying on straight RPI. That one scorched. Heston Kerstad makes it a 3 1 game. Gets into this one. It's a pitch on the inner part of the plate, and this was no doubt once it left the bat. He has a phenomenal number when leading off. He is well over 500, and for the second time today, he's let off with a hit. This was a no doubter. Swing. He gets the ball up from the plate and it creates that launch angle, but that ball is down and in right in that happy zone that lefties like it. He knew it. It's that foot down on time. That full one one from Miller. Curse stamp down the line. That is fair. Here comes Goodhart. He'll glide home. On his way home is Fletcher. Two more for the Hawks. Heston Kirsten, his second double today. That drives in two. And it is six to one, Arkansas. Heston Kirsten, Jack Henley, Casey Opitz, five, six, and seven for the Hawks. Oh my. Oh my. Gone. Home run. Heston Kirsten with another mammoth shot. He has had many this year. That's number 16, and it's 9-1. to one. Long ball for the Arkansas Razorbacks in their Super Regional. It comes from their big bopper from Amarillo, Heston Kerstad. And it's 9-1. to one. They're, they're not used to posting three zeros in a row, much less ten zeros. Uh -oh. Heston Kerstad sends a shot to deep left field. Wilson can't get it. Solo home run, Kerstad. And the scoreless streak ends with one swing. That's what they were looking for, the big fella. The, the big fella getting them on the board, doing what he does so well. This is what you got to like about Heston Kerstad as a prospect, the ability to let the ball get deep and use the backside of the field with power. He can really create. Kerstad. Rolls one into left, see if he gets an RBI. Webb will turn third and score without a throw on the first run of the season for the Razorbacks. Comes on a Kerstad RBI single. Well, I think that's what the scouts like out of Hessen Kerstad. You know the power. A couple of times before that single in the home run. High drive, deep right, and Kerstad is gone. Back to back with Franklin. Wu Pig, a couple of home runs in the fifth. Hessen's talked a lot about top spinning balls and back spinning balls. I don't think he got under this one, but that's the strength where he can almost top spin a ball and still get it over the fence. Yeah, it didn't get out by much, but again, he knew he got all of it. Probably got about 30 feet off the ground because it's just the explosion of the ball coming off the bat. Here he lifts one to left field. This is a long run for a topple into the corner. That ball's gone! Almost on cue, Kerstad flicks one down the left field line, and he has a two-homer game. That you got to be kidding me. That just shows his power. That ball, he, he didn't even hit that ball well and just flicked it again, like you said, into the bullpen. Off the bat, you think, okay, that's a routine fly ball. Looks like a pop-up. He just wanted to know, is it going to be fair or foul? That's why he's watching it and topple. You, you think he's got a beat on it the whole way, and then he looks up and he's that clears the <laughs> fence by five feet. I mean, that's exactly what we saw him do earlier this year. First. High drive, deep right. Get out the tape measure, gone again. The third home run of the series for Heston Kerstad. Teams. Kerstad. Sends one deep to right. Home run number four this weekend. Are you kidding me? What an opening three game set. He makes it look all together too easy. It's that, a second two homer game. Yeah. That's a guy that will bring the Arkansas cr crowd to their feet quite often this year. Boy, off the bat. He just heard the crack and he knew it was gone. He's just going to see it was going to clear the fence, the back side of the bullpen, and it does. It's out there in construction. Thought is with Denton. That one hit high in there to deep right. Kerstad back nearing the wall. He's got it at the yellow line. 
Stevenson will tag and score, but Heston may have robbed one. Kirsten smokes one to center field. This ball's back towards the fence. It's off the wall. Two more runs batted in for Kirsten. What an opening weekend. A six RBI game. He has knocked in 10 this weekend. Tough, and I know that the consistency of a coaching staff makes a big difference. This is a tough play. It's going to be Heston Kirsten coming in. <laughs> that looked nifty from Heston. On this inning, nobody out. Kirsten's going to bunt again. They're going to make Lardner field one. Safe at first. Well, there's the speed that Kirsten had has developed in this offseason. Two-game home run slump. What does that say about your abilities <laughs> if that's what people start to expect of you? Opposite field he goes, and it'll drive in another. Boy, that's why he's a next-level hitter right there, Josh. That is a guy that most guys will pull off and maybe ground that ball to second base if you roll over the top. Heston Kirstad allows that ball to travel deep in the strike zone and just says, you're going to give that to me, I'll take it. Uh, some great games here at Minute Maid Park. Kirsten lifts one in the air, deep center, back to the fence, and that one's gone. Wow. <laughs> Home run number five for Kirsten is very much in the conversation for that Golden Spikes award. Well, no doubt with that kind of power, but how about take it to the deepest part of the yard? And Kirsten had a brother that played for Texas. This probably is one that he will enjoy. No doubt. No doubt. How about this delivery from Matt? Not a bad pitch down, but uh, drifted down and in, and Kirsten just stays with it. Turns it right back around towards that flagpole in center field. It's this ball just carry over the fence over there near the. They'll throw it back. Did he make a turn? The bases. But right here, that's that's just to make sure and get back. Well, no, no, there's mind. no he, grabbing. No, there's he didn't grab him. <laughs> that's all right. And that's not a flop. That Arkansas list. Smokes one into center for a base hit. Franklin will turn third and score. And this is a three-run game. Hey, you chip, you chip, you chip, and all of a sudden this, yes, which is never easy to play no. in that environment. This one down the left field line. Oh, are you and kidding? Oh, man. It is <laughs> in play. Oh, my goodness. Just missed the home run by about two feet. Kerstad shanked that one. I, I was going to say, when he hit it, I thought it was a foul ball, and then he starts taking off. So he stands there after he hits this ball. I think he thought it was foul as well. And and Heston Kerstad shoots one down the left field line for a base hit. He's going to try for two, and he's in there with a double. And he's extended his hitting streak to 14 games each and every one this season. Well, a really pretty hit for Kerstad. Kerstad has the power to shoot one out to left. We have seen that in this ballpark this year. Kerstad drives one to right. Back to the fence. Yeah. Goodbye. Heston Kerstad with the game-winning home run. And the Razorbacks will celebrate at home plate and take the series. Look at the celebration waiting for Kerstad at home plate. Well, he hit it right through the teeth of that win when he hit it. You thought it had a chance, but it's blown in about 20 miles an hour from right field, and it got out by inches. Home run number six for Kerstad, one he won't soon forget. A game winner into the wind, and the Razorbacks find a way to get it done. Boy, up in the zone, he barreled it up. He knew he hit it well, and a big series win for Arkansas. Just out of the reach of Bates, got back to the fence, and not enough real estate. And Kerstad and the Razorbacks with a big win today.